Hi guys, I am Ikugaki and in this video today I'll show you how to animate the X, Y and C parameters on the head. Let's begin! Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use parameters and we're going to be animating the face. Before we start animating, I'm going to create something called a warp deformer. To make a warp deformer you have to select an object, go through this button right here that says create warp deformer and click it. You're gonna have the destination and the name. I like to be really specific, so I'm going to put warp deformer face XY, all right? This warp deformer now contains our object. So if we animate the position of our deformer, our object and anything that it's inside it, it's going to move. To have organization, you can go back to the deformer tab and you can see here that we have the new warp deformer and inside our new warp deformer we find our face base. For this animation I want to be a little bit more precise. So what I'm going to do now is go to the inspector tab and go to the number of conversion divisions and hit uh, 8. Now we can have a better and more complex deformer. So we're going to animate on the angle X first. For this, we're going to select our deformer, not the object, but our deformer. Look, see, when I select the object, it's different. I'm going to select the deformer, and I'm going to go to angle X, hit this button that says add three keyforms. Keyforms, I'm going to memorize the position of the object. So for example, let me show you. If I go to another keyform and I move my object, when I go back to the beginning, we're going to memorize it. Let's say I'm, I do this one right here, why not? Oh, okay, so this is the, the technique that we're going to use to animate, right, with keyforms. Now, I am going to start. I have my reference in the back so I can see where the head is supposed to be. I'm going to start moving a little bit the face. And we're going to work just with one side because we're going to reflect the motion later. All right, once we've moved our face right here, we can use different tools. Uh, for example, if you want to transform with the points, you can move them. You can also use um, the brush selection tool. We can go to the tool details window so we can see the wave brush size and try to use it. For example, this one, when you paint something, depending on how much it's, it's painted or saturated, it's going to be affected. For example, if I click there and then I click A, or the arrow tool right here. I can move this part of the model a little bit easier. So I can, for example, make the cheek or something like that. There's another tool that it's on beta, but it's uh, something similar. It's the formation brush tool. So this one actually transforms the objects using the brush only. You can see the weight and the brush size. And when we select, for example, our, our mesh, we can see that the tool is a little bit different. So. The further away it is from the center, it's going to apply transformation and the, and the closer it is, it's going to bring it more like that, okay? So use the tools that you like, experiment a little bit, uh, and I'm going to make the cheek puff here, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, I think this transformation is good. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Now I'm going to show you how to flip a parameter. I'm going to select the face. I'm going to go back to the last point here. And I'm going to go to modeling, parameter, and reflect motion. When we click that, reflect horizontally, that's what we want. Hit okay, and surprise, now we have a face that moves. Now I'm going to animate the ear. Well, what I'm going to do is the, the same thing, right? I'm going to select the ear, then wobble the former ear, and it's the same process. All right, now that we finish our angle X parameter, we're going to move on to the angle Y. I'm going to select the face and I'm going to hit the three points again. So now when it goes negative, we're going to go and make that go down. So when she looks down, this is what happens. Great, now we're gonna do the same with the ears. Now hit the ear here. Maybe rotating it a little bit will do the trick. Now 
Now we're going to go with the upper part. All right. Now we've done the movement on the angle Y and on the angle X. Really nice. I really like this. What I wanted to show you guys is that since we have the angle X and Y close to each other, we can hit here the link parameters button. And now we're going to have this, right? Up and down and X and left and right. Here we can make our corners, okay? Since you see that we are left, but we cannot go down, you might see that this menu has appeared. So what we're going to do is to go in the arrow and hit select. We're going to select all the objects that are being affected by these two parameters, mean the ear and the face. So now um, what we're going to go again to modeling. We're going to go through parameter and we're going to hit synthesize corners. We have parameter angle X, angle Y, we hit OK. And what will happen is that automatically now we have our corners synthesized and our character can move its head like this. We're almost done. What we are missing is, well, one ear. <laughs> To copy an ear, we're going to go and select the warp deformer of the ear and the ear and hit copy paste. When we paste it, a new ear, a new warp deformer is going to appear, but also a new deformer of position adjusting. This deformer is a rotation deformer. Uh, it's important that, that you erase it because if you do not erase it, this is going to happen. Look, right click and then reflect and we're going to reflect horizontally, but then the ear is going to reflect in the same place. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is that we're going to erase this deformer, select the new ear and the new deformer and reflect again and say reflect horizontally when we do this now the ear is on the other side it's actually really cool now you guys can see that the new ears are on top of the face on the tab part so what we need to do is either bring the ears down or the face up I recommend you guys if you are going to copy and paste stuff uh, rename the ear or put ear 2 or ear right for example so you know what objects you are selecting okay once you've copied your new ear let's check out if the angles work correctly up and down work correctly left and right work almost correctly we can see that the ear uh, it's a little bit of a difference in the position so we're going to fix that it's actually a really easy fix you select the deformer and then you just uh, move a little bit the angle yeah in this side it's not a problem it's just here and here right so you also move the angle a little bit here compared with the other one and a little bit here compared to the other one and we have a fully functional head with a good range of motion oh well, that's pretty cool right now that we finish all our angles X and Y, we can continue with the angle Z or C. It's really easy to do, actually. But we're going to do something important here. You guys can check out in the bottom left corner our deformer tab, right? As I said before, this tab it's going to work as a parenting hierarchy system. So that's what we're going to do now. Look, I'm going to select the three deformers of the ear right, ear left, and the face, and I'm going to create a new deformer. And this deformer, I'm going to call the warp deformer face Z, or face Z. I'm going to create it. Now you can check out down here that our previous deformers are now in our new warp deformer or face Z. This is really important because that means that if I move the warp deformer face Z, I'm going to move everything instead of just selecting one and, and moving one. For example, look at this. I'm moving everything that is inside. With that out of the way, I'm going to show you how to make the angle set. First of all, we're going to get introduced to a new deformer, a rotation deformer that we actually saw when we duplicated the ear. But now we're going to make them. We're going to go here to create rotation deformer. We're going to press it and create. Now, when you create it like this, it creates a rotation deformer that is going to affect the part that we selected. We can go back to the deformer tab and see that this face rotation deformer, it's now containing the warp deformer of a set that contains all the, our other deformers. The problem here is that I don't like to work it like that because it gets really difficult for me to move this deformer sometimes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually something different. 
the way that I like to do this is actually using another tool that is called Rotation Deformer Creation Tool. This one gives us a little bit more of control on where to put the Rotation Deformers. I'm going to click it, I'm going to put my mouse on the chin of our character and while pressing Shift, I'm going to drag and make a Rotation Deformer. You can make it as big or as, or as small as you want for this case because the uh, turning radius it's going to be on the chin right so i'm going to release it and you guys can see that we have a rotation here but if we go back to the deformer tab this rotation does not affect anything nor is being affected by anything so what i'm going to do is actually select the warp deformer of face c and drag it into our rotation deformer now i can change the name of this rotation so i'm going to call it uh head c now thanks to this we can move our head like this pretty cool now while selecting this rotation deformer, I'm going to make the respective keyforms for this deformer. I'm going to select the head rotation deformer. I'm going to go to the angle set or angle C. I'm going to add three keyforms and I'm going to transform accordingly. In this case, I won't recommend to do a lot of this because it can become kind of like a squishy neck or something like that. So I'm going to go for around maybe 10 degrees. Yeah. If you want to be precise, in the inspector tab, you can actually type the angle that you want. In this case, we are going minus 10 degrees. And on the other side, we can actually go to positive 10 degrees. And now our face does this. Well, now that we have our angle set complete, we can actually check how we interact with all the other angles. Let's see. If we go to minus 10 and then we move the angle X and Y, we can check that the head moves accordingly. But I spotted a little problem. When we move the head, the head looks displaced when we move it, for example, to the corners on the top, right? So uh, this is something that is actually really common. If you guys are animating a character, you guys are going to find out that you have to tweak a lot of things uh, every so often. So I'm going to tweak the angle X and Y top corners to make them a little bit more appealing to the eye when our character is looking to those parts. Okay, to do this, I'm just going to go to the Warp Deformer of Face and from there I'm going to work with the positioning. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, I readjusted the angle X and Y top corners and now the head looks a little bit more attached to the body. But when we move the angle set, still we have this little problem of a little bit of a void here. So I'm going to continue tweaking uh, the deformer positions so we can have a better illusion of movement. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I think I finished the angle set for now. What I did was, aside from moving the angle of the rotation deformer, I moved it a little bit to the counter side. For example, if we're going to look to the left, I moved the deformer a little bit to the right and vice versa. That gave me a little bit of a better um, feeling with the characters looking like this and this. And the same with the other side. So for now, I think we are done. Those were the angle X, angle Y and angle Z. Well guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new in this video. And if you did, hey, please hit the like button. And also stay tuned because in our next video, we're going to learn how to animate the eyes. So I'll see you later. I hope you have a nice day. Bye guys.